Good morning, everybody. It's December 22nd, 2021. This is the calm before the storm video. A little shot of snow summit through there. So we've got some weather coming in tomorrow. Um, unfortunately, it's gonna be a lot of rain at first. So I don't think snow conditions are gonna be fun. But later on in the evening, we could get a whopping inch of snow. But then Friday, it looks like we could possibly get maybe three to five inches of snow all all together and Christmas we're gonna we're definitely gonna have a white Christmas so I'm not too sure how much snow we're gonna get it doesn't look like much maybe one to three inches so our best bet for the most amount of snow I think we'll get by the end of uh, Christmas day and Christmas night we could have maybe six to eight inches brand new snow on the ground I think that would be awesome so all of you get your butts up here and get ready but I just want you to see the town this is what the calm before the storm video is. So you can see what it looks like around here before the next snow comes through. You can see how much of the snow melted. And also thank you guys for all the lovely Christmas wishes and gifts, man. It's unbelievable. It really is unbelievable. I'm super, super thankful for you guys. Thank you very much. It's definitely helping to, it's helping to cheer me up big time. As you guys can tell, we're on Big Bear Boulevard. This is the main boulevard in our area of Big Bear, in the Big Bear Valley. And for a Wednesday, there is quite a bit of traffic. Just so you all are aware, if anyone thought you could sneak up today and go do a little skiing, there's not gonna be many people here. You were wrong. There's actually a lot of people here. Yesterday was worse though. Some years I get so used to it being not crowded during the week, which is the best time for you guys to come up and enjoy yourselves so you don't have to wait in the long lines and uh, yeah, and just some, some of the misery. <laughs> because keep in mind, there's like 30 million people who live at the bottom of the hill from like LA down to San Diego, San Bernardino or Santa Barbara down to San Diego. And I know most people from Santa Barbara probably go up to the real mountain ranges, but a lot of people come to see our little mountain range and come to have fun here so but I just want to show you guys what it's like we're just gonna do a short little short little drive no big deal as a matter of fact what we'll do is uh, since it's gonna be so short we'll drive through the village just so you guys can see what it's like in the village at the moment everybody's doing okay. Hope everybody's doing okay. I know the holiday seasons are rough and great. For me, most, uh, uh, you know what? It doesn't look like we're going into the village, guys. Sorry. It's, it's way too freaking packed. Way too packed. Way too packed. We'll come in through the other side because no one's going to be driving through the other side, I promise. Wow, but look at all these people. Boy, babe. Once again, woke up quick at about noon. Just thought that I had to be in Big Bear soon. Yeah, a lot of the snow melted, but remember, guys, we didn't get that much snow. We really didn't. We only had maybe, well, at my house, it was about four and a half inches. Remember, we were supposed to get like two and a half feet that clearly did not happen but the further we drive this direction the more snow we will come into and obviously the higher in elevation we go but we are not going higher in elevation right now we're just going to be going on big bear boulevard the route that you guys usually drive on so you can see what it's like with your own eyes so you can see it's not that bad the only thing i suggest that you guys really concern yourselves with is all this snow on the side of the road during the day it melts and a lot of it melts into the road and then at nighttime it freezes. So if you come up here and it hasn't snowed in like a week, you're probably not gonna expect, like right here, that'll be icy tonight. You probably won't expect to be slipping and sliding, right? Well, please do not expect that. You probably will be. Just know, as I said, a lot of this snow melts into the, into the road and then if it doesn't evaporate, it freezes at nighttime and uh, it makes things a little slick. So. Anyway, here's a fun place to do bobsledding and just 
there's a roller coaster there it's not a real roller coaster but it's like a it's like a bobsled roller coaster hang on guys all right guys sorry we had to make a turn real quick but we are gonna head back towards the village i just want you guys to see that there's a bunch of people sledding over here this is on the big bear lake side of town I didn't want to inundate you guys with too long of a calm before the storm video. Usually when it's totally empty with snow, I like doing the longer ones so you guys can see how much of a difference the town looks, what, what the huge difference is. When we have no snow and then have a lot of snow. to mention you guys I've got a good friend up here his name is Sahil and he owns both Big Bear smoke and vape shops and they don't just have that they have they have like everything there souvenirs stuff like that the guy is such a good dad like he's got the cutest little daughter he's a good husband just a good man and people like him they deserve your support he doesn't gouge people up here he takes care of you guys man so Big Bear smoke and vape as I said they have a lot of novelty stuff too it's really really cool here is a fun place, as I said, this is called the Mineshaft Coaster. And I think it costs 20 bucks per person for adults. I'm not sure if it's the same for kids or not, but yes. And this is a different perspective, the way we're going right now. We're gonna go through the village, and then take one of the parallel side roads back to the Moon Ridge area so you guys can see how to avoid all this traffic. Once again, I know some of my local friends might not be happy with me about that, but I'm the one who remembers. Without the tourism, none of us get to live here. So I don't want you guys to waste your time up here. I want you guys to get around wherever you need to go quickly. That's just the whole point, man. I've always wanted to eat here at this bonside place, but it's, it's never been open when I wanted to eat there. One of my favorite restaurants up here is the Crepe Cafe. You guys, I'm telling you, if you want some good French crepes, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's on Big Bear Boulevard. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be passing it right here because we're gonna be going through the village. But yeah, just to kind of kill time, or to, oh, I guess it turned green, so we're good. Sometimes I like to not stop the video and then restart it just so you guys can get a sense of what the traffic's like in town. So now we're going straight through here to go into the village. You see the sign right there? The village. But yeah, you guys, tomorrow we got a bunch of, uh, maybe a half an inch of rain coming. So a lot of this snow is gonna melt away. And then at nighttime, it's gonna get cold enough and we're gonna get a little bit of snow, maybe less than an inch. But everything's gonna be extremely icy. So just be aware of that. Everything's gonna be very icy. But then, Friday, we could get about six inches throughout the whole day, then another three inches on, on Christmas. So, as I said, hopefully, hopefully we get like eight inches of snow. That would be pretty damn awesome. That would be pretty damn awesome if we have eight inches of snow by Christmas time. Fresh snow, and we are in the village right now, guys. This is Big Bear's Village. I don't really do much around here because uh, there's some bars and stuff like that and I'm eight and a half years clean off of alcohol. Um, and yeah, it gets a, a little bit rowdy, not in a bad way, but it gets a, a little bit rowdy and brings back bad memories of when I was drinking. So I, I, don't, I don't hang out in the village too much at nighttime. But uh, it is a beautiful place and I suggest all of you come to the village and have some fun. There's a lot of little novelty shops too. As I said, Big Bear Smoke and Vape, by far the very best because they aren't gonna price gouge you. And I'm not saying that these other places will necessarily do that. I just know for a fact that my friend Sahil is a good guy. And I know a lot of people drive down the hill to get just regular products instead of actually buying them up here. And he's the only place I found where I can get it for the same price or even less than anywhere down the hill. So um, Big Bear Smoke and Vape. He has two shops, one in Big Bear City and one in Big Bear Lake. And if you say that I referred you, I'm sure the dude will hook you up. 
You know, he's a sweetheart. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that, buddy. Uh, we're gonna, so th now, instead of turning left, right, right where we just were, to go down through the rest of the village, we're staying straight, and we're gonna stay on these back roads until we get to Moon Ridge Road, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So typically when we have snowstorms, Big Bear Boulevard over here is gonna be completely bumper to bumper. It's gonna be like this, basically, non-stop. But once we get to this stop sign, things will change, you'll see. Most of these people are gonna be making a left here because it says Highway 18 and ski resorts and a lot of people don't know any better because they don't live here. But I want you guys to get the scoop. So we're gonna go straight. Pennsylvania all the way until I can't remember <laughs> but when I see it I'll let you know so remember stay on Pennsylvania we will be avoiding a whole bunch of oops there's a police officer right there probably shouldn't have my phone up, up like this But that's okay. You guys are worth the ticket. So we're just staying straight, okay? Just staying straight. What a cute little neighborhood, huh? White picket fences. The American dream. A wife, two and a half kids, and a dog and a cat. That one, oh, that guy ooh, hit the telephone pole. Ouch. I hope he's okay. I hope he's okay. That's an abrupt stop. Okay, so this is Jeffries. Okay, Pennsylvania dead ends at Jeffries. So we turn left on Jeffries. And then our first street is called Oak. We're going to turn right on Oak Street. And we're going to take Oak Street. Because straight ahead is Big Bear Boulevard. And it's always, always packed. We're pretending like we have a lot of snow right now. And right now, this is typically how this will look when Big Bear Boulevard is backed up. Completely backed up. Just don't... Obviously, don't be speeding through these neighborhoods because it is a neighborhood. And uh, when I first started this channel, I was driving a little bit faster through these neighborhoods than I should have. And uh, thankfully, I, I didn't run over any children. And I plan on never running over any children. So that's always a good plan, you guys. Don't run over any children. Okay, now this right here where it says not a through street, through traffic, you, you turn left here. This is called Eureka. Okay. The signs are pretty self-explanatory. So we're going to take this to the last street here where it says not a through street if we keep going straight. And this is called McWhitney. I know it's a few turns, but I promise you it'll save you a good hour just trying to get from one side of town to the other. You'll get there in 15 minutes instead of an hour and 20 minutes. As you can see, a lot of the side roads, you guys, are still a little bit rough. So for those of you concerned about the tire chain situation, I would definitely have them with you because most of the places you stay are not on the boulevard. Okay, what street is this? This is Wren, W-R-E-N. We make a left on Wren. And then your second right is Brownie Lane, and that's gonna take you all the way to Moon Ridge Road. So this is Brownie Lane coming up right here. The next street ahead is Big Bear Boulevard. Traffic like crazy, like usual. But we're gonna turn right here. And yeah, so these side streets are, are still pretty nasty. I suggest tire chains, you guys. I've seen people get stuck in the least amount of snow and ice, and it's miserable. It's absolutely miserable. And I know putting chains on is miserable as well, but you know what? This is... This is what I suggest for you guys. I don't want you guys to have a nightmare while you're here. I want you guys to have fun. And so uh, 
maybe if one of your where you're staying if you notice it is on on one of these side streets um please please consider the chains i've got my snow tires and four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive I always point out this house. This is where like Triple G used to stay and train. This is where a bunch of boxers train, like world champion boxers. I think Sugar Shane was there for a while. I know Shane Mosley lives, I'm sure Shane Mosley lives up here. Oscar used to live up here. As Dana White calls him, Oscar De La Cokehead. <laughs> That's so funny, man. He and Oscar used to be good friends too. Okay, so these guys are about to start murdering somebody. They got their chainsaws out. It sounds like he's saying they're sold out here at Snow Summit today. Oh man, that's... No, I'm going home. Thanks, brother. Thank you. How cool is that, guys? Those parking attendants, they deserve a lot more love because they get so much crap. They get so much crap. But yeah, anyway, you guys, we are here on Browning Lane, running parallel to Big Bear Boulevard. This parking lot coming up here to the left, this is one of the satellite parking lots for Big Bear. Look, they say road closed here. So since I know how to get around it, we're just gonna go around it. Uh, I don't know if they meant for me to go around it. They probably didn't mind if I went through since I'm just going home, but this will give you guys a little sense. This, this should take us right around. I haven't been down Breckenridge in a long time, so I can't really remember. But if it should take us around. And obviously we're getting closer to the mountain, so there's gonna be more snow over here. And we're just gonna turn, what street is this? What street is this? What street is this? Vail, yeah, we're gonna turn down Vail. And then we're gonna come back out on Brownie Lane. I'm just trying to get you guys the best possible route so you don't have to deal with traffic. And then when we end up making a drive during the snow down towards like Sugarloaf and stuff, I'll show you guys how to get down there without having to take the main roads. See, look at that. We just avoided a whole bunch of stuff, I think. I don't think I'm lost. No, we're on snow mass now. So there's Aspen, there's, well, snow mass is Aspen. Vail. I've been lucky enough to ski both those places when I was much younger. Okay, this is Killington. Oh my gosh, it said the road's, road's closed right there. Jeez Louise, we know what? I'm going home, like, yeah, I know the road's closed. I'm not trying to like be like, like a bad guy here, but I'm going home, I'm not going parking. So, now we're at Moonridge. There's Walgreens right there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, you guys, calm before the storm. Hope you guys have a good time. I'll be recording tomorrow once everything starts. Talk to you guys later. I love you a lot. Thank you for everything, you guys. Thank you for saving my life. I love you guys.